guys, it's Mish Janney and today we are going to be doing another girly vlog. I have just some random clips of my life that I kind of pile together and make a video out of. I find it kind of fun. We're going to start with a new vintage item that I recently got and I'm really excited about it. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. First, if you're wondering what I'm wearing today, I'm wearing the Lip Filler Lip Liner from Thrive Cosmetics in Erica with the Melissa lip tint from them. And then I'm also wearing the Juvia's Place Topes palette, which I really like. So that's what I'm wearing today. But let's just get into what I wanted to talk about. So I actually got my first vintage lash curler. I have never found one of these before. And in an antique store recently, I found one for $5 original box and everything so I wanted to show you guys because I'm super excited about it. Okay so the lash curler is the Cur Lash lash curler and just a little bit of background about the brand. In 1923 a group of investors founded the company which was first the Stickle Company and it was to market the Cur Lash natural eyelash curler a patented device invented by charles w stickle and this was in 1923 so that is super cool so charles stickle has been said to have invented the eyelash curler so two other eyelash curlers have been granted before his patent but he was he submitted his patent um, before them and so was the first to be commercialized. So technically this brand, Curlash, who was originally the Stickle Company, they invented the eyelash curler, which is super cool and they are actually from Rochester, New York, which is so amazing. I'm from Western New York, so it's just super cool to have that connection as well. So this is the lash curler that I found. It is from actually the 50s. So this is not the very first model, uh, but it is, I couldn't believe that it's pink first off. Like look at the pink color and look at that gorgeous little mecha mechanism. And I thought we could even compare it to my current lash curler. I thought that would be kind of fun. Uh, but here is the original box. And I think this is from the 50s. It says new improved curl lash eyelash curler. And here's this side. Look at how cute this box is. And my favorite part is this right here. It says curls eyelashes without heat or practice. Look at that little imagery. I absolutely love it. And then on the inside, there's a couple things as well. It says, now you have the new Curl Lash with exclusive automatic refill, and it tells you how to replace the little rubber piece. This one did not come with the rubber piece um, here, but I ended up buying some. I'll tell you about that in a second. Here is the little insert that came inside. How amazing. I absolutely love it. It tells you about the product, about their tweezers that they're also selling, and then they have a little, just like all sorts of things in here. And I also even printed out the original patent. And the patent was for this new and improved one. It was granted, the application was granted in 1952 and it lasted to around 1969 so i'm thinking this is you know maybe mid 50 mid to late 50s is when this lash curler is from oh my gosh look at how cute this is okay so this is the original patent filed july 8th 1952 and i just wanted to show it to you guys I just think it's so cool on the lash curler itself it actually says the number so that's how I was able to find it I love the pink color oh my gosh I actually got this for five dollars at the antique store with the box and the this here I could not believe it and then on Etsy I ended up finding the little refill 
and I found this by the patent number as well. It's right here, so it should fit it, but it came with three of these new automatic refill. It says to give your lashes a lovely curl, see back of the card to figure out how to put it on. So I'm going to, because I have three, I'm going to take the one that's in the worst shape. This one has some water damage and I'm going to put it on the actual lash curler. The famous eyelash curler, newly improved, gives lashes a glorious upward sweep without heat or practice. Lashes look longer, heavier, if the eyes appear brighter, more sparkle even if you wear glasses. And then how to replace it, but basically the curl lash would be a dollar and the refill would be 25 so maybe this is a little bit earlier because it says 30 cents but based on the picture i feel like not much has changed like we curl our lashes just the same as we did back then here's an ad for the eyelash cream and the little carrying case okay so i'm gonna go ahead and put in the little rubber thing let's try it this is the one that is a bit more damaged. Normally I wouldn't open any of these things, but because I have two more that are in perfect condition, I and this one's not in the best condition, I figured it would be fine. Also I wanted to show this ad that is on a website I found about Curlash and how they have different colors. So it says that Starting in 1931, they had different handle colors of the Curl Lash, Lash Curler, and they were in, first was baby blue, and then other ones were um, apple green, lavender cherry, old rose, and ivory. So I'm guessing this one is the old rose. How cute. Oh my gosh. I just love how it's pink. I need a pink lash curler for myself. I swear. Here is the little piece, but it's already like kind of falling out. Use the refill open curl lash handles wide and rubber refill in metal holder pops up automatically. Insert new refill close handles firmly. That is all. Okay, so it's not a perfect fit, but if you see it in there, I did add it in. It's supposed to be a perfect fit, but there's one end that's a little bit bent. But here we go. I added it in. And I honestly feel like if we're comparing it to my lash curler here that I use every day, it's really not much different. I feel like they look so, so similar and it's just really funny so here's a comparison i just love the pink handles i feel like mine's a bit bigger and the rubber piece is a bit smaller and like fits better than this one i would say but overall it's very very similar i just thought this was so cool and I really find it fascinating that they were the first brand to even create the lash curler so I feel like that just makes this really really special. Hey guys, so I have this little ColourPop haul. I did purchase a few things for a uh, friend but I'm not going to show those just in case she's watching, but I want to show you what I got myself. I got myself this strawberry face milk. I really like their 43 Beauty little face milks. I had a set of them a while back, and I don't know, I was purchasing things for my friend, so I thought I'd kind of throw this in there for myself. And then I also got this Barbie X ColourPop hand mirror. And I kind of missed out on this whole collection, and I'm kind of fine with it. I don't need it, but I wanted to get this hand mirror just because, I don't know, it's, I thought it would be cute. And here is this book that I'm reading. This is not related, but it is a vintage makeup related book, and I absolutely love it. It is really good so far, so I was just reading that. 
that's why that's there but let's open these up Ooh, oh my god that is so cute who loved barbie as a kid i sure did okay this is like such a tiny mirror i don't know if you can like i have small hands and this is pretty small but adorable it's heart shaped i mean come on Hey, so I did update the girly bathroom in here a little bit and I wanted to show you. So I put this little rose candle from Marshalls, I believe, um, here with the little because you make life sweet card that I framed. And this frame is from TJ Maxx as well. And I have this little makeup fridge here with a flower crown on top of it. But this I changed just a tad bit, but I want to show you the big reveal over here. I used to have this spinny cart right here, but I decided to change it to this gorgeous three-tier little vintage cake stand. Like, look at the little rosebud details. Oh my gosh. So, I have some soap here, perfume, a vintage uh, talc container, my Paris soap dispenser, and then on top of here, oh my goodness, we have three little macaroon candles that I got at a boutique. And I, aren't they so cute? And the theme of the bathroom is kind of like Paris, macaroons, and also like a mint and a lavender color and this pink color too. So love that. Then on the next row, I have one of my rings here, a little fake flower, and then some scrunchies. I just love the gold and the rosebuds. And then here I have this cute little hair clip and a vintage compact. I forgot to mention it is on the bottom of it it says it's from Germany and it's vintage and I did get it on Etsy and I'm just so excited I've always wanted one of these and I think it just fits perfectly in here and is just I don't know exactly what I wanted <laughs> so I'm excited. I just finished reading Barbie's Fashion Success. This is a vintage book from 1962 and it was so good. I absolutely loved it. I found this for 10 bucks at an antique store recently. Just finished reading it. It was so, so cute. So now I'm going to hop in the bath. I have my little heart bath bomb, a candle from Target, and then my cute little hair clip. I am just excited to relax and unwind and maybe watch some YouTube videos while I'm in the bath.
vintage perfume bottle jackpot, I think. So on Facebook Marketplace, I found a listing for 25 perfume bottles for $25. And I did it, and here they are. Let's look at them. Whoa! Ooh! That's really pretty, actually. This one's Egyptian. A lot of them are Egyptian. And I don't have any Egyptian ones. Look at it! I love the little, like, polka dot. This one's blue. Wow. I like that, like, blue and copper. This is kind of a weird one. Kind of fancy. Ooh. This one's super cool. I love the flower details and the little skinny bottom. How cute. It's a little clear one. Another small one. This one's green. A small yellow one. Oh my gosh, this one's so pretty with the little leaf top. I'll have to research these way more. This one's pretty, but I love the different shapes of them. Ooh. I like this one with the little, I don't know, design around the sides. I like that. This is so exciting. I can't. Definitely worth the 25 Like what? Whoa, this one's really pretty too. Like, look at this right now. Oh my goodness. It's oh my gosh, it's a little heart. Wow, that one's cool. That's awesome. <laughs> like, what? Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I love that. Oh my gosh. Ooh. This looks old. And I like the rose. That's interesting. I really like the legs on this one. That alone looks like it could be $25. I know. I've never seen one like that. This one I'm so excited about. It's just really cool. I love this little sprayer. This pink frosted one is so cute. Oh my goodness, I love this one. I love the color of this right here. Mirrors. Oh wow. Vivian Wood Woodard. I'll have to research that. Whoa, I love this and it matches the other one, I think. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love this with the little shell top and the pink frosted bottle. I'm obsessed. Here they all are together. What do you guys think? I'm so excited. I forgot to film an outro, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!